What is better for bullet journaling and planning, traditional or digital art? In this video, we are determining exactly that. Nowadays, bullet journaling and planning is more and more popular in digital way and I'm going to show you some apps on which you can do that digitally, but first I'm going to cover the traditional part. Basically, the only supply that you need is some kind of a notebook. I am using a notebook from Notebook Therapy and I would say that a pen and a marker would be enough, but of course there is no fun in that and I'm showing you how I use my bullet journal exactly. Sometimes I'm using stickers and sometimes I am drawing in it. What I would say is a pro here is that basically you can be very creative and you can use different materials here, for example, stickers and washi tapes and textures, and that is making it so much more fun and personal. Here I'm showing you my collection of washi tapes, that is also a great thing to collect, and I'm also showing you some of my stickers, but of course there are other videos of mine where you can check that out. I would also like to say that bullet journaling traditionally is a great way to unwind, to not really be that stressed out or overthink and just do it, just create it, doodle and honestly sometimes I can be very stressed out because of the screen and my eyes are hurting and that is a great way to unwind. Another great thing, in my opinion, a little bit cheesy one, is that with bullet journaling in traditional way, you can have that as a memory from your planning out what were you doing. If you really also need like a daily journal, then you can always easily remind yourself of how those days were and how your feelings were. Basically, traditional and physical journals are a great way of making memories and always having that with you, whereas when you have it digitally, it can be deleted easily. And even if it's not deleted, it is keeping the storage, which also is a bad thing if you are like me and you don't have enough memory for all of those storages. On the other hand, there is digital bullet journaling. I would say that the biggest pros of digital planning are it is very accessible. For example, you can reach your planner and notes from multiple devices. You can easily fix mistakes or set up reminders. And also it is a good decor option for those who aren't exactly creative or artistic. Now I will show you some options from where you can digitally bullet journal and plan out. Of course, my first suggestion is basically good notes. And even though I don't use it that much, I really, really enjoy the concept. And what can I say except this is exactly digital notebook. So you have a cover page, you have other pages and people get really creative with it. I myself am not using it exactly the way I would like to, but I'm going to show you some examples of how you can use it. These are all of my drawings and I uploaded them to the GoodNotes app. This is not exactly like a tutorial on how to do it, but if you want a video, of course. This is more of a showcase how can you actually digitally bullet journal. And then I have this little memo that says to do. On that, I will actually be writing down my to-do list. And it is very fun because you can add stickers. And as I said earlier, you don't have to be creative in order to have a creative notebook. You can, for example, purchase digital stickers. There are a lot of Etsy shops that actually sell digital goods and then you can just download and upload the stickers here. I honestly think that this app itself is very useful, it is very cool and I think it has some amazing features and it is a definite replacement for the real bullet journaling. And if you prefer digital way of bullet journaling, I would really suggest you to download the app and really 
give it your best shot. Moving on, we of course have Notion and I also think that Notion is a very cool app. It is a bit different because in my opinion, GoodNotes is a bit more creative one, but Notion makes you do stuff and it is very like a productive kind, productivity kind of app. I am not yet a pro in Notion, I would like to be, but from how I'm using it, it is very productive for me. It has some great stuff like the tables and it really allows you to be productive. But as I said, I would say that Notion is better for like planning and then GoodNotes is more for like real bullet journaling. Here you can see my example of how I would use Notion for my May content planner. I really like to use tables here and also to-do lists because they're very easy to use and you can also add a little bit of color or maybe add emojis so that it is more viewable. I love how it also has like a task manager so that you can have multiple maps for different type of planning. And when you really try to get to know Notion, I think it is worth it and it is a really great app for productivity and planning. On the side note, which you should not tell anyone, I have this habit of actually planning a lot on my phone. It is not beautiful, it is not peachy, but it is sometimes so effective and I do it then. Alright, next up we have Google Calendar and I only recently started using Google Calendar and I think it is very effective, especially when you connect the account. You can have the same calendar all over devices and I would actually say that Google Calendar is like Notion, it is more for like planning and not exactly bullet journaling and I love how you can really schedule all of your tasks and then Google Calendar basically remind you that you have that to be done and it is very productive. Here I would like to show you my beginner setup on the Google Calendar. I would say that the basic thing is to basically create a lot of small calendars and then to have a color for like each topic and then for every single topic create a certain task. That is exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm creating the content calendar. I'm giving it a little bit of description and also color scheme. I decided to go with bright and happy colors. And then you basically add a task in a different kind of category. Anyways, now that you know what I'm listening to, I'm just adding a bit of content ideas and some other ideas here so that I have a basic thing for this whole calendar setup. And then at the end, you can really see the way I create it. And now you can basically see the way my calendar turned out. I really like the colors and I will try to update more here so that I will be more productive. Now with all being said and shown, here is my ultimate comparison, so feel free to screenshot if you need it. When it comes to my personal preference, I like to use both techniques, but honestly in different ways. I really like traditional one because it gets me more creative and it has also some kind of footprint and a memory of mine. But at the same time, when I'm lazy, I sometimes read for my phone or definitely iPad and it keeps me more organized and accountable. Now that you heard my thoughts, make sure to really decide what is good for you and you alone. And I really hope you like this video and that you find something for yourself. Bye guys!